What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today I'm happy to introduce you to Valheim, a game where we're going to be a Viking attempting to survive in the middle of the wilderness. Which I think, I mean, that sounds like a pretty dope premise for a game, I personally. So let's dive straight on in. We're going to try and get as much gameplay out today as we possibly can. Let's go. We got to create a new character. Okay. So there is our ragdoll dude. We can have hair. I don't know. Is that the only... Oh, we can have a ponytail. Gotcha. So we can have no hair or we can have a ponytail. I'm going to go with a ponytail then. And then it looks like we only have two options for a beard. But luckily, one of those options is the dopest. The other option is just not to have a beard at all. And so there we go. We got that take. We've got blondness. No, let's be, let's be a black bearded Viking. That's what sounds good to me. I don't know what hair tone does. Apparently, that's like the application of like conditioner and shampoo magically coalesces one day into a hair tone. But I'm not going to worry about that. And then there is my character's name. Let's go ahead and do this thing. We started out in some clothing. Let's rock. Our world name will be Bootytron, like it always is. And then the seed will be that one right there. All right. This is completely blind, by the way. So this should be a little bit crazy. Uh, we're going to go with a, yeah, we're going to start up a server, I guess. I suppose that's the way that we play single player. I don't honestly know, but I have played enough games like this one to know that it is likely that we start our own personal server if we wanted to play this thing on off. Oh my god, I'm being carried by a giant wingy bird thing. To prove that you are worthy of entering Valhalla, you have been spent to Valheim, the 10th North North's world. Only by defeating the mighty beasts of the lands will you win the favor of the gods. Okay, but like, do I have a parachute? Like, this is a bit of a concerning situation. Like, I'm just saying, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta drop me in by crazy, ridiculous booby bird. Like, that's not necessary. Like, I could have taken a train. Or like a, a small BMW. Like, you know, it's not really that big of a deal to me. Oof. And so there I am. So we can interact with things in the environment. It looks like I can punch a tree for four damage. Okay, a bush. You are dry again. Okay. Some of the items like stones collected and are used for crafting. Oop, there's one right there. Okay. So we've got a stone right there. That sounds good. Let's go. Can I punch this? No, I cannot punch that. All right. Well, it's good. I, was, I didn't know if there would be options or not. So I think this is a continuation of the game Fade that we played a while back. This is kind of like the, the upgraded version of it as far as I know. I'd have to check after the episode just to make sure, but I'm almost positive. We got a tree over here. Yeah, forget that tree. That tree don't know us like that. Oh, never mind. The tree does know us like that. The tree is tougher than us. Retreat. We will not fight the tree today. Retreat. It is not time to fight the tree. And we've got a stick over here. I will take that. Let me, let me get that branch real fast. Let me get it. Let me get it. And so over here, we can make a stone axe if we had a few more things. So let's dive straight on in, and let's grab those few things. There's a piece of wood right there that we got covered. I don't think I can do anything with the bush. What was that noise? There was something out here. It made a noise. Mm, I am a strong, independent Viking man who don't need no man. But at the same time, I'm a little bit worried about my safety. Yeah, that's not a happy noise. What the hell is that? No oh, it's a deer. Okay, I'm gonna call that a whooper for right now. I don't know what they're actually called, but from now on, it's a whooper. Now I know that if I hear that <laughs> noise, that's a, see, now my dog's upset with me. My dog thinks that there's something wrong. I have an Akita, and they are really, really good guard. No, don't attack me, dear. I didn't mean to bother you. It's not my fault. I didn't know what I was saying in your language. It's my bad. I was just making sounds that sounded like he's like, yeah, well, what did we learn today about tolerance? Hmm? What did we learn today about making fun of the whooper people? And I was like, I wasn't making fun. I was just making noises that sound like the noise that you make. And he's like, yes, but you ended up being very, very offensive. Things to think about. Things to think about. There's some flint down there in the water. And then we got that right there. Okay. Let's jump on over that. I do like the jump animation. It kind of reminds me of the jump animation from like, I don't know if you guys ever played EverQuest or whatever. It kind of reminds me. It reminds me of that. It vaguely reminds me of the jump animation. Let's grab a few more rocks over here. And I can make a stone axe, or I can make a club, or I can make a hoomer. I'm going to go ahead and make the stone axe real fast. We have a stone axe now. I can put that over right there. And so now we have something that, that doesn't look very axe-like. That looks a lot more like a hammer than I'd like to admit. So can I take this tree out now? 
How hard is it for me to drop a tree? Yeah, murder this thing. Take it out, son. Make sure you do it like a wedge. You gotta go two chops down, one chop up. Two chops down, one chop up. That's how we do this. It looks like I have to chop the log a little bit more in order to plane it and get it into a shape that's useful to me. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, it knocked down that tree when I did it too. See, I got that pow. Ooh. You can set up like chain react. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, now we got wood. Okay, now we got wood. Your boy got wood now, giggity giggity goo. Let's go ahead and we'll smack this thing until it falls apart. And then we'll try to figure out what we want to do next. So from the tree, you do get a lot of wood. Who would have known that wood comes from trees? See, these are the things. These are the things you don't know until you try. What is that thing over there? There's like a weird little trollish creature over there. I don't know if I want to fight that without a weapon. I'm not positive about it just yet. I'm going to walk around barefoot in some water first. And then we'll worry about it later. Can I kill that? I cannot kill the rock. Alright, my powers do not encompass the rock. It's okay. It's alright. Dwayne Johnson doesn't need to know about what we're doing here. Uh, we've got a club right there. Okay, I will absolutely take that. So we've got ourselves a weapon now. I'm going to put the torch right there in case I need it a little bit later. We can combine stacks on that side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, you stop that now. Ow! He did so much damage. He hurt me so badly. There we go. Ooh, he got knocked the hell out. What did he drop? Did he drop anything new? He dropped a Grey Dwarf's Eye, and he dropped Tree Resin. Okay. Uh, what about the mushrooms? Can I eat those? Does that help me regenerate? Like, do I feel better if I eat a mushroom? I do. Yay, my health comes back. Apparently, they are mushrooms of healing. The mushrooms where I live are not mushrooms of healing. They are mushrooms of instantaneous nerve damage and death. They make you, like, have a stroke. So don't eat the mushrooms where Splat is from. They will kill you, and they will kill you very, very quickly. I'm interested in getting up to a high point and kind of figuring out... Like, what we're looking at here. Because if I remember this game properly from the last time that I played it, there's going to be points of interest. And those points of interest are going to give you access to new technologies and new things that you can unlock as you get further into the game. There's also going to be, like, weird little events and stuff like that that make things easier. Dude, that mushroom got us healed up nice. That got us healed up good. Okay, so I have the hammer now, too. And if I remember correctly, the hammer is responsible... So I can make a fire pit if I have five stones. I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a fire pit right now. Let me put that away because stones are more important. But let me get you, let me get you, and let's find ourselves a nice open place where if we have to do battle with the denizens of I don't know, Holberheim or wherever the hell they're from. I don't know. I'm not into Viking stuff. I don't understand. But if we have to, see there's there's a thing right there. I don't know if that's a safe thing, or if that's a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing. There's zombies. Apparently it's a cairn, or like a burrow, or some kind of something, but... Let's build our campfire, shall we? There we go. We got a campfire now. How do I put wood into the campfire? Oh, there we go. We press E to put wood inside the campfire. Put another log on fire. Looking up some bacon and some bean. Boop, 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 boop. Does the club affect this big rock right here? It does not. It does zero damage. Okay, so I don't know if it's safe to be out at night. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Ow, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, my God. Okay, so maybe don't step up. Oh, I was cold, though. Now I'm warm. So, pro tip, kids. If you're ever out in nature and you feel a little bit cold, you should light yourself on fire. That'll fix the problem up right away. Right as rain. I suppose there's no reason to be standing around and just, like, waiting for something to happen. You are wet. You are also cold. I assume that's going to negatively affect me somehow. But there's a zombie over here. Is that like a... Uh, what is that right there? Is that a Draugr? It is. It's a Draugi. Ow! The Draugi got hands. The Draugi got pain. Yeah, go ahead and fight him however you can. Like, I'm not trying to get into too much trouble here. I'm almost out of stamina, though. All right, there we go. There we go, Draugi. There we go, Draugi. You don't know me like that. I'm going to kite him out because he's got that DPS that I don't have. And so we got to play a hit-and-run game here. There we go. All right, I'm going to drag this guy back. Maybe I can steal his axe. That's what I'm kind of hoping for is that, like, maybe I'll get his battle axe. Do I get his battle axe? Oh, my God. He burst into flame. 
The boy is crazy. There's another Draugr over here. Let's go ahead and take care of him, too. Uh, got him. Get him with the love tap. Yup, get him, Dougie. Get him, Dougie. I believe in you. I believe in you. There it is. We got him. Oh, this Draugr wanna do me. He see through me. I'm gonna poo me if he shoot me. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. I missed. Hold on. I messed up the combat. I messed it up. There it is. Yup, keep it flashy. Give him that little loopy loop. Spin on around him. See, he don't know. He don't want to play around with the loop-de-loop. Oh, another one. Oh, never mind. That's one of those little troll things. I can take him. He's no problem. That's right. I got a beat stick now. I got a beat stick now. I'll put you down, Grey Dwarf. I'll put you down. Is there a treasure chest or anything in here? Like, is there a... Is there anything? Oh, it's a dungeon? Oh, no. I don't know if I'm ready for this, Nerd Castle. I don't know if I'm ready. Ooh, this is new, though. This didn't exist before. Can I break this? No. Ow, Draugi, why? Draugi, why? Run! Run, leave the dungeon! Don't stay in the dungeon! Ow. Okay, Draugi's too tough for me. We can't mess around with the draggers, the draugers right now. The draggers. That's a completely different thing. Uh, we can't mess around with the draugers right now. Instead... I'm going to head back to the campfire. We're going to get warm because I'm losing HP from the cold right now. And hopefully there's not any enemies around. I'm going to eat some mushrooms real fast. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. I tried to cook on the campfire with my mushrooms, but it wouldn't let me. But with this, sometimes, like, if you look at it, we might be able to use the eyes to do something. It says we have too few gray dwarf eyes. I was hoping we would have a few more. Oh, good. I'm not going to be wet anymore in just a minute. Oh, look at the sky. That's a pretty cool sky texture. I like it a lot. Whatever the uh, the bound boxes or the wrapping thing. I don't know the technical term for it. But like these games always take place inside of like a giant sphere type thing when it's a 3D game. And so like I like that right there. It's very, very colorful and it's very enjoyable to look at. The sun will come up for Vikings. I don't want to go in there. That's what I learned today. If we go in there, bad things are going to happen to me. I am dry again. Look upon me and despair, ye enemies of Viking hood. I don't know if I should just build over on this spot. Maybe I should. With my with my hammer, what do I have right now? So F will switch my category. I've got a cooking station right here. It only takes wood, so we might as well make one. I mean, we might as well make like two of them. Can I rotate? I cannot rotate. That's fine. That's cool. I didn't want to rotate anyways. All right, we'll put one in right there. What other stuff do we have available? We have a workbench. I think a workbench sounds great, so put in a workbench if you can. That sounds good to me. I don't know what items that's going to unlock. It looks like a fire arrow, a flint head arrow, a wooden arrow. So it's mostly bows and bow related. Oh, a flint axe. Nice. We can make like a better thing. And we can make a hoe. Oh, shit. And we can make a flint knife. Okay, I don't know if that's a weapon. We can make a pickaxe, though. Which will probably be useful. We can also make shields, which I assume is going to play in. Oh, we got throwing spears. A wood wall. Oh, man, we got all kinds of goodies in here, don't we? We got all kinds of goodies up in here. And so we've got roofs. We got everything else. We've got stone walls. Or a stake wall. Sorry, I thought it was a stone wall. And then what's the other category? Furniture. We can make ourselves a bed so that we can sleep through the night, maybe. That'd be kind of nice. A standing torch, if we had some more resin, would be pretty cool, too. Unfortunately, we don't. So let's get back out here and let's do some gathering. It seems like there's some considerable crafting to be done right now. And I'm going to need some more flint. Now, if I remember from playing Fade, which was the earlier version of this game, I think if you go out, like, near the water, that tended to be where flint was at. Flint was kind of over in this area. And the reason for that is actually fairly logical. Uh, flint is, like, hypercrystal. Basically, it's hypercrystalline quartz that's been melded together. Like, it's, it's the same thing as Chert, just a little bit metamorphosed. And so anyways, um, you tend to find it near water, because water will erode out all of the softer sediment material. It'll basically break it all away. But Chert and Flint are ridiculously resilient to water. Like, they don't even care about it. Which is why when you're at the beach, chances are you'll find, like, some Chert formations or some large, you know, Flint formations. Things like that. There actually is a logic here to the placement of the Flint near the water. That would be more than likely where you would find it because it takes a long, long time. Like, on, the, on millions of years, essentially, 
for the water to wear away the softer sediment, sediments like the biotite and things like that. Break them all down and get rid of them so that all you have left is the quartz uh, matrix. Let's go back this way. We'll grab a couple more rocks while I'm over here too. Yup. And how am I doing on wood right now? Not great. We could probably get away with chopping down a tree or two. Let's go ahead and get after it. I'm going to chop this guy down right here because he looks like a good candidate. There's no selection process there. I just made up my mind that I was going to chop down a tree. It's kind of nice to be playing a survival game where I'm freed from the constraints of having to feed myself. I'll be honest. Like the constant food and water grind in games like this... I, I just, I don't understand. I, I like it. Like, don't get me wrong. We probably need some more mushrooms, too. We found mushrooms inside the woods, so let's go have a look at this little thicket over here and see if we can find anything useful off in this direction. Mushrooms, where are you at? I know you're out here, mushrooms. I can hear you hiding in the bushes. That's right. I can hear you, fun guy. I know you're out here partying, because after all, they are fun guys. Uh, let's see... I just want more healing resources. That's legitimately like all I care about here. Can I bust up these bushes? I can? Okay. So it appears as though the majority of the environment is going to be destructible at one point or another. We've got another whooper over here. I think that, uh, well, no mushrooms so far, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'm going to try and do my best to keep myself orientated too, but we need more healing resources. I think hunting might be a good source for that, too. It might be a solid idea to make ourselves a bow and, like, some arrows. What is that over there? Is that, like, a busted house? There may be danger, but there might also be treasures. Let us go have a look and see if we can steal somebody's Viking barrow. I mean, we already went into the dungeon, but I think we need better gear to be in there, or at the bare minimum. Ooh, Okay. Oh, there's like a lot of you guys. This is a wee bit concerning. I'm gonna try and swing early. Oh no, I got stuck on a wall. There's one down. Oh, I got a cleave too, good. I didn't realize I was gonna have like a like a cleavey thing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This is under control. Everything is okay. Nothing bad is gonna happen here. We are not gonna take any damage. There it is, perfect. Let's go back and see if we can clear the home. We need to rescue it. Fellow Vikings, I come to liberate you for freedom and also beat sticks. That's right. I murdered your friend, homie. I murdered your friend. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. Homies murdered, executed, and eliminated with impunity. So is there anything that I want in here? There's a treasure chest. What's in the treasure chest? A certling core pulsating with heat. Okay, apparently I've got a new material, and then we've got some animal hides right there as well. So we can make kilns, so it looks like the surter cores. Like, if I break this stuff down, do I get resources? Like, is there a way for me to remove an item using the hammer so that I can bring the chest back with me? Oh, we can make a raft. Nice. That's pretty sweet. I would love to make a raft. That sounds dope. Like, I don't think we have to go home just yet, but there's a deer over here. I wonder if I can kill it with a hammer. They might be slightly faster than I am. It appears as though they might be. Come here, deer. Oh, I got him trapped. I got him trapped. We took his ass out. We got to hide, and we got some meat. So apparently the trick is to get them stuck in between a tree, and then you can murder them masterfully struck. All right, let's head back to base. We got some new things. What's it going to take me? Let's say that I got crafting tables, right? It takes certain cores. We need two of those for these guys right here. So we'll probably sm start out with the smelter, I would think. Got that one, too. Hell, yeah. We got some meat, and we got some more furs. All right. Let's head back to the base and see if we can make ourselves some armor. Because if we can make ourselves some kind of, like, rawhide protective field uh, another one over here got him got him dunking on him get on out of here ganondorf that's what it seemed like it said for a second it, it looked like it said ganondorf was his name i don't think that's literally his name but it seemed like it might be his name for a second let's head on back to base we're a little bit wet we're a little bit tired and i think it's time for us to get some viking r and r because ain't nobody relaxed like a viking trust trust splatty cat know that right now 
He knows it. Does my campfire despawn after a bit? I can see the smoke going up. Well, at least that's nice. It's kind of a waypoint, being able to find what you're looking for. All right. How much fuel do we have left in this thing? We've got five fuel left? Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, can I cook these yet? You throw some eyeballs into the fire. Oh, shit. What did I do? What is that? I didn't think that was going to do anything. Yo, what ha I thought I was going to cook some food, son. Where have you taken me? Where am I? What is this strange land? Hello? Did it just, like, teleport me to a different spot? <laughs> Alright. I honestly have no clue. I mean, that's a felled tree right there. Never mind. I thought that was, like, the leftover. Because remember we left one log of a tree kind of sitting there? I thought that it took us back to the spawn point, maybe. I don't know what kind of sorcery that was, but it appears as though Loki is toying with us. Oh, no. I know where we are. I know where we are. Okay, we're not that far from home. We're over here. Our campfire should be up this way, because that's a chopped down tree right there. I think that's the two trees that we chopped down. And so that's where we fought the Grey Dwarf right there. Okay, we're oriented. I just gotta find my way back to my camp. We can do this, Nerd Castle. You just gotta believe. Maybe I'll, like... Maybe I'll kill some trees on the way back. How about that? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna come back with an armload of goodies, just in case. That way our crafting situation is largely taken care of. There's another flint out in the water right there. I'm already wet. It's not like it's gonna get worse. Why does it sound like I'm under attack? Oh, because it's a dwarf. Okay. Let's go take his ass out. Take that, Ganon Dwarf. You will never take over Hyrule. I beat you back, beast. So we should be, like, right over here is my thought. That's what I'm thinking is we should be right over here. And I am unafraid. There it is. See? Splattercat's got good navigational sense. He just needs landmarks. That's actually a thing depending on what side of your brain you use more than the other. Some people are really, really good at landmark navigation. And some people are very, very good at map navigation and familiarity navigation. But very, very, very rarely do the two overlap. Like, for me personally, I almost exclusively rely on landmarks. Like, that's how I navigate. I don't know what that says about my brain, but when I'm navigating and I'm in the wilderness or whatever, I use landmarks. That's all that I do is I use landmarks and I'll jot it down on a little piece of paper and I'll make a sketch real fast inside my field book or something like that. So that I know what it looks like and then I'll start denoting and marking the areas around it so that like I can find my way around. That's actually a pretty good tactic to have under your belt if you're planning on being out in the wilderness at all. We're a little bit cold right now so let's get back to the warmth of our fire. Yo, I know you're not trying to mess with my base right now. I know you're not over here trying to cause a problem. I think this dude wants some. I think he's trying to cause issues. I'm going to finish him off real fast. I ain't got time for his nonsense. That's right. Burst into flame, you little nitroglycerin bastard. I ain't afraid of you. So what can I do over here at the workbench? The station needs a roof. Oh, doth it. Okay, well, I guess we'll work on building a house then. I don't know. It's not going to let me do that until I... It's not going to let me have that until I build, like, some kind of shelter. So let's build ourselves a little house over here. Got to wait for my stamina to come back, though. Because I'm a very, very fair Viking. Unfortunately, I just... I'm very, I'm very willowy. I don't have the strength that I need to have right now. Can I cleave both these at the same time? That's what I'm saying. Let me get double the work for half the effort. That's what I'm talking about. Get them. Get them. Go. Go. All right. So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to figure out how to put a roof on this thing. I honestly have no idea how to build a house. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Because without, like, a, does the game have a foundation system? Because if it doesn't have a foundation system... I get the feeling I'm about to be very, very confused. So let's go over here. And we've got a staircase. We've got, what is that, a wooden beam? Why do I need a wooden beam? So we've also got a wooden pole. We've got a wood floor. I think we're going to need flatter space to build on, in my opinion. That's just kind of what I'm looking at right now. But we need, like, a, a flatter space for us to put our base in on. 
Otherwise, something tells me this is going to get a little complicated. So I'm thinking like this spot right here is looking good to me. Let's clear out all these anti-construction dwarfs right here who are just being haters. They got to go. And I think this spot is looking like what I want to do. So if we can be like right here, missing resources. Oh, I need a workbench. Uh... Okay. All right, we'll put a workbench right there. I mean, we've got plenty of resources, so I'm not going to stress on something like that. I think dwarves are going to be messing with us like all day. It seems like dwarves have a very vested interest in us not being a homeowner. And I don't know why it is that they're so greedy about all this real estate, but we can share, bro. We can share. We can share the load. All right, so we got our wood floor. Do these snap in? It looks like on some level they do. Yeah, so there is like a, a snap in right there. However, I think I just messed up my floor. Give me a second. Oh, man. I think my floor is messed up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to snap in right there. That seems like it's going to be a very real toe hazard. So that's going to snap in right there. Well, at least there's a snap in feature. The last time I played, I don't think there was a snap in feature. And that is going to make my life a little bit easier. Not like crazy easier, but a little bit easier. I think I'm just going to have to ignore that portion back there. We'll call that like a porch, and then we'll just go about our business. It looks like the snap-in stops when there's altitude issues, though. Which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah. So either the building parts are going to have to be put on stilts, so that they auto-connect or something like that, like it does in other games, or that's going to have to be cleaned up a little bit. But it looks like the snap-in kind of stops working if there's an altitude difference between the two parts. It's okay, I can still build a wall around this. I'm not trying to build anything huge, I just want to have like a little shack. And so, with the roof ridge, I don't know how we use that just yet. What is that right there? A wooden cross? So we can rotate like that, I assume that, that goes over the doorway. We've got a wall for a roof right there. We've got ourselves a door. So I will take that. I don't want the half wall. But I would like to... Yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Make ourselves a little long house over here. A long hut, as it were. Not a long house, a long hut. But my name is Splattercat. This game is called Valheim. If you wanted to get it for yourself, it is a free download right now. I've got a link for you down below to itch.io where you can get the game and you can be a part of the development process and help it get figured out. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been a blast, everybody. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, it helps out more than you know. Content creators basically live and die by that stuff. And so I'd love to have it. If you wanted to support a little bit further, I do have a Patreon or I've got a Chrono GG link down below because I'm a Chrono GG partner where you can check out games at a steeply discounted rate every single day of the week. They have all kinds of goodies on there and in the process, the more you take part in the sales, the more you unlock free other games that are like cool games too, like Don't Starve and whatnot you can get for free just by kind of being a Chrono GG customer and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi to everybody and take care out there.